Hello and welcome to my little camera shop. What can I help you with today? Just want me to kind of go through all the options we have? Okay, I will start off with our cameras and then any video cameras we may have. And then I'll show you our vintage selection at the end. Sounds good? Okay. So first off, we have your standard kind of disposable camera. Which I do recommend if you perhaps are going on the holiday. And don't really want to spend a ton of money. Purchasing a nice camera, or if you have any children who may want to invest in a camera. We have a couple different styles, but this one in particular has some filters you can choose from. And down here corresponds with the number on here, the exposure number. And it will inform you what filter the picture you are currently taking will receive. There are also a few just plain shots you can take with this as well. So this is a great kind of quick vacation camera. And what you do is just wind this up and there will be tension in this and you can just snap. And there is a flash option. You just hold this button down and wait until this red light is on. And then you will receive a flash. And it's just your standard viewfinder here. And it is very self-explanatory. Anyone can take it. And I'd say this retails at about Fifteen to twenty dollars. I can see what sale offers we might have on it today. Okay, moving on. This is a very standard digital camera. megapixels and a 5 time optical zoom and I'd say it takes very basic photos it's nothing you would use for very high quality but it is great for a beginner and it has the zoom up here along with your options menu and your playback and um different filters you can use in settings and it just has a little clicker right here and it is battery operated and you just pop that open and place your battery in there again it's a tad more complicated obviously than the disposable one, but it's nothing compared to the complex, high-quality cameras that are much more money. This is by Olympus. And it does have your plug-in to the computer TV options, the SD card is held here, and there is an area to screw onto a tripod. And I'd say this retails for no more than 40, possibly even 30. It is not that expensive. Now the next step up we carry from this for kind of your beginner digital is this purple Nikon, which we do have in other colors. This is just the model we have out. 
And this is 16 megapixels with a 12 times zoom opposed to the other Olympus camera. And obviously this is a better lens and does take a better quality picture. And it is touch screen and with this you have the option to record audio. And the other camera has the option to record audio as well, but you do not get sound. This one does pick up sound, and the quality depends on kind of the environment you're in. And up here is where you would zoom on off, and this one, I believe, has a battery that you would charge opposed to the ones you can buy. And we do have chargers here. And then the SD card, the tripod option, and yeah, the playback here for the digital is touchscreen, which can be a little finicky, but it's not that hard to figure out. This one does has an HDMI cord. So there's a playback option for the TV. And this is a better model. If you do take pictures often and would like some better quality, it does take very nice photos. This would retail for about, say, 60 to the max would be 80. Okay. You wanna see our film cameras? Yeah, if you're looking for something to film with, I would not recommend either one of these because they of course are not built for video. <laughs> and this one does not pick up audio at all, so definitely do not recommend. And this is good for capturing moments, but let's see. As far as video, I do very easy to use with their flip cameras. They have two models in stock. This one is, I think, the more basic one, or the oldest version. We have some embellishments on here, but with these, this is the flip cam ultra. And batteries here, just pop that open and put in two. Then you have your tripod option. And all you have to do is press this button here to record. You can zoom in, zoom out, playback, trash, back and forth, on off, and then it has a USB, which you would plug into your computer, and the flip share comes loaded on. And these are a discontinued camera, so they are playing hard, hard to find. And they do come with the cord to plug into your TV. Now, the other flip cam model we have is this black one, and this is just the Ultra HD, so obviously this model is a step up from the one I just shared, and it would be a little more expensive. I'd say this is about 120 This could be about 150 And this is the same kind of idea. Except instead of the TV port, this one has the HDMI for projecting onto your TV. Then the USB. Play. Record. Trash. Turn on off. And this one does have the loaded. Oops. Well, you can see here. Zoom in and zoom out. This one does come loaded with the software to edit your videos as well. 
Oh yeah, so we do have one a little more advanced than either of these flip shares. But these are great again for your basic videos. Now if we want to get a little more advanced, we have this insignia camera here. This one does have a battery you need to charge. And we do have charges for that. We have a couple different settings. HDMI cord. The on and off. And then you just open it here. And the screen does move out. And you can move it back and it snaps in. And then zoom of your options here and again it has a little um, SD card slot as well in the battery container so you can upload to the computer and I do believe you have to get a separate software for this and this is the HD version and I would say this picks up better audio than for cameras. But it is fairly simple as well. Just a couple more options to play around with your video quality. So this is just if you want to get slightly more You want to get really old school and just kind of get a camera for fun or I guess if you're more into filming or not film anyway, I should say photography. We do have this Polaroid camera. And these are all used because they are hard to come by and rather expensive. But it still works perfectly. And this is the 600 film one. And it's the box camera. So you just have your lens here. And what you would do is pop this open. And when this green light is on. You are ready to take a picture, and you just click this button here. And this is the one step close up. So we have some options. This is if you want to do an object rather far, the little tulip icon is for closer up. Then you can brighten and darken your photos with this little switch. And this does have a flash, and your photo will come out. because it is, or it does, have film in it right now, so it is loaded and I would not like to waste that battery. This would be about, oh, I'm sorry, this camera compared to the flip cameras are, this is more expensive, it's about 180. Now this vintage one would be maybe 200. Keep in mind. Fujifax does make littler, less expensive Polaroid cameras that do print a better quality and the film is much less expensive. Since Polaroid, you may or may not know, did go out of business, the film for these types of cameras much harder to find. And it is now made by a brand called Impossible. We do have a couple selections in stock. Our first one is your basic color 600 film. And these are 28 a pack. They come with 8 color 
and it tells you what they're compatible with. And all you need to know about this. And this does come in black and white. Some other vibrant color options. And this is the white border. There are many different border styles you can get. And we do have another limited edition border style, which is this. This one is soft. It's kind of model, so it is open. But this one is 30. And it is the poison. Paradise edition. And there's these hibiscus plants all over it, along with little snakes. And that is the only difference. The border, the color, the quality is the same on both of these boxes. The film types. And this is the only film compatible with this. Polaroid one stop. But if you were to purchase a Fuji Fix, they have, I believe, 400 film, which is much less expensive but smaller. These are your kind of standard big Polaroid. And it does give very beautiful results. And I much prefer this. And if you can get a hands on, one of these cameras, as you may want to today, it is very lucky. And you can either order these online or stores such as I believe Urban Outfitter also carry Polar film. So it is not that hard to come by, it's just a little on the pricey side. Okay, our next camera, which is a little further advanced than our film, I mean, ah, uh, Polaroid, is the film camera. And this is the Canon AT1, but it, the better known model is the AE1. The only difference is a couple setting, um, Kind of, this is missing a couple settings as far as exposure, so this is a little more basic, but it functions the same way, and it may look a little intimidating at first with all of these kind of levers and uh, dials, but I will give you a quick, quick <laughs> I will show you the film this uses. So this lens is an FD lens, 500 millimeter, and it is the original one. And this camera is compatible with any FD lens you may find. Just keep in mind if you do purchase this and are shopping shopping for extra lenses, you need the FD um, fit, because Canon discontinued, and I believe most other companies discontinued that kind of fit, so make sure you look for the FD, and you can just pop that off, and replace it anytime you may. And this is the original lens that all of these styles came with. And you just line it up and pop it back on. And there are a bunch of setting options here. And the zoom is just through here. And it is a very... It takes, let's see if you can see. Probably... We not, but it does take very nice quality pictures. The thing with this is it needs, or compared to cameras we use today, which have autofocus, 
this one you kind of need to focus yourself so I guess that can be a bit challenging but it's kind of more fun to work for that perfect photo so I'm just gonna pop the lens back on and explain more to you how this works so it does take battery and I believe they carry the battery to Walmart it's a little hard to open See if I can get it. Okay, and it's just pop that open. One six V battery in there. Little door, and then the on and off is right here. So I want to save my battery, so I have this in the kind of locked position, which is the shutter button so I can now press it and I would be able to if I switched it and it's off right now and you can now off and then on and I'll just turn that off and what you would do is turn it on switch this into the right shutter position and then pull this back and click and then once you've taken a picture, it'll tell me tell you how many exposures you have taken. And then you would wind this all the way back. And it would roll off the film inside and set you on the next exposure. And the film I have it on right now is 400. That's why this dial here. It's telling my camera. We have 400 film inside. And you can kind of rip off the carton of the film and place it here so you remember what type of film you're using. And I'm not going to open it to explain to you how to load it because then it would reset. But you just pop it open using this button here. And this pulls out and you can wind it up. And pop it open. That's how you get film in and out. And if you do purchase a camera like this, you would take the film out, pop it, grab it, and put it in the canister it came in. And you would return it to us. And we would more than happily develop the film. If you do not have a dark room yourself to do it. And the great thing about the strap that comes with this camera is that right here it has some little loops and you can just slide your canisters into here so you do not lose them. So this would retail for about 80. This is older and much harder to find. This is from about, say, 1977. And it is a very nice quality camera. Very good condition. And there's a little option up here to pop in a flash. And we also have this little eyepiece here. Which, if you are uncomfortable or struggle with taking or viewing the shot, you can pop that on. Just rest your eye there. So, as for the film for this camera, we have two 400 type available. This is the Kodak Ultramax 400 film. And this is just your normal color with 24 exposures. And this is about 475 film for these cameras. It's much less expensive than the Polaroid. So, while I guess the process of having it pop out right in front of you is not as satisfying, or you don't get that satisfaction on here, it is kind of more, I 
working on a call decision. So, there's the cutter. Then we have this 400 TMX, which is just black and white. And most photography classes will have you use this, because if you do choose to develop the film yourself, this is much easier to process in the dark room. And this is one of my personal favorite cameras. And I do 100% recommend you consider this if you're looking for a practical and usable <laughs> vintage camera. on the shelf. So those are all of your kind of interesting cameras we have here in the shop. And I hope you gain some information you can use to choose a device suitable No problem. Thank you for coming in, and I hope you come by soon.